everyone, Richard Carlton here. I wanted to do a quick video and give you the latest news as I see it from my corner of the FileMaker world. These are things that I see that are kind of important that most people who are in the FileMaker uh, world should know about. So first off, FileMaker did ship version 15 of the product line. If you haven't been watching any of my videos or seeing any of my emails, then maybe you missed this information. But in May, FileMaker shipped 15, which is part of their new annual release schedule, so we should be seeing updates from FileMaker about every 12 months or so. Now the developer conference is coming up, and I think this is going to be an important developer conference to attend. In fact, I think this may be more important than many of the previous conferences. That's just my gut. I can't really say more, but that would be my impression. So the FileMaker Developer Conference is in Las Vegas, and I hope to see you there. Now I will be presenting there, but that's not really the reason why you should attend. Most of you who watch my videos already get a great deal of training and knowledge from me. So the people at the Developer Conference will be a lot of people who haven't seen me before or watched any of my videos. Now there are a couple new products that are coming to the FileMaker community that might be relevant to you. The first one is from Todd Geis, it's called FM Perception, and I'm in the process of taking more of a detailed look at this tool, but it's in short a data analysis tool, kind of conceptually similar with base elements or inspector or another product like that. The differences with this tool is that the user interface is really straightforward and fairly simple. Um, I like that because life is too complicated as it is. The other thing that this product does is it does analysis of DDRs almost instantaneously. So whereas the other products actually have to go through a processing where they're doing analysis and this kind of thing, FM Perception does it almost instantaneously in terms of reading the data design report. Now another new product that's out there that might be of interest to you, which is completely different, is called FM Gallery. FM Gallery is a very high-end, uh, sophisticated uh, visualization of container fields within the FileMaker platform. And this has been designed and built by Nick Hunter, who is a uh, a design and UI guy who worked for Apple and FileMaker for a number of years. And so Nick is one of the top user interface designers in the FileMaker community and he has put this product together so it's called FM Gallery. So FM Gallery allows you to dynamically display containers not simply in form view and not in a simple list view but dynamically reflow them on the layout which is really cool. It allows you to do multi-selections in fact, the new version actually allows you to uh, save the files out as different sizes. So it makes a great digital document repository. Now with FM Gallery, when you buy it, it comes as the gallery file itself, plus it also comes connected to a special version of FM Starting Point, which allows you to see how to integrate it within your own database. And of course, if you want to use that FM Starting Point that comes with it, that's totally cool as well. So we have a video that talks about this. Now another topic has come up recently and that is FileMaker's new FileMaker licensing for Teams. And this is a licensing program which is much simpler than what people are used to when buying FileMaker for their organization or group. Now I did receive a couple emails from people complaining that this seemed to make things more complicated for them. But these people are single user buyers of FileMaker. So the ability to buy single copies of FileMaker hasn't changed at all. But what FileMaker has done is made things radically simpler for calculating the cost and buying FileMaker for your business, your nonprofit, your corporate work group, any team that needs access to FileMaker. Now FileMaker's licensing for groups has always been kind of convoluted and somewhat complex and this greatly simplifies it. But people have been buying FileMaker the old way for more than 20 years so as a result some people who are seeing this very simple process of buying FileMaker it's blowing their mind. So we made this video to explain to everyone. The short version of what this licensing plan offers is that you just count up the number of users that need to access FileMaker and then you pay so many dollars for each of those users. You don't have to add up the cost for different copies of Pro or different user connections or different copies of server. All you have to do is pay for 10 people or 15 people or 20 people and those people all get access to server with whatever client software they want to use. So you can check out that video here. So that's your quick update for this week. 
Once again, we got the FileMaker 15 release. We have the new FileMaker licensing program, the FLT program that came out with that. So we have a video clarifying that as well. You should check out the FM Perception as soon as possible if you want to get a good deal on the licensing. And then if you're interested in better, more awesome ways of managing containers within FileMaker, feel free to check out Nick Hunter's FM Gallery Tool. And we have a good video for that as well. So I'm Richard Carlton. If you have any questions, feel free to email the team here at support at rcconsulting.com. As always, if you're interested in checking out our FileMaker video training courses, those are available at learningfilemaker.com.